I don't know what to say to you, fam. That was absolutely amazing. Like, wow. Absolutely amazing. Did I actually do the intro? Hello and welcome to whatever this shit is. I just watched Deadpool and the Wolverine. And I have to say, my brother, Scheiser. Wow. 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 Like, Ryan Reynolds is Marvel Jesus. If you have not seen this film, dip. In all honesty, dip. If you have not seen it, dip. If you have not seen it, don't watch this. Don't watch it, because I'm about to drop a whole lot of spoilers, bro. Oh, my God. Now, <clears throat> this is probably going to be a 10-minute thing, so it won't be long. I've never seen so many, so much... 18, basically. This is 18. If you're young, I don't know. It's a rated R film, so I expect me to curse as well. I've never seen so much fucking killing fans. Oh my god. Okay, I'm spoiling it now. They killed so many Deadpools. Oh my god. So many Deadpools. So many m mutants. Oh my god. Everybody was dying. Okay, I'm spoiling this. Chris Evans is in this film. And he's in as the human fucking torch. I'm sorry. I spoiled it. I was not supposed to do that. But I did it. Chris Evans is in this film as the human torch. From the Fantastic Four. <laughs> okay. Another spoiler. Another spoiler. And I'll be done with epic spoilers. I want you to discover these ones on your own. Wesley Snaps. Blade is in this shit. Okay, that's it. No more, no more spoilers. No more spoilers that are too extreme. Now, let's just talk about the film. I've spoiled it enough. Over. Done with the spoils. Whew. Boy, this film is insane. I am a little disappointed with how things ended. I'm a little disappointed with the whole dynamic of the TVA. I'm missing a few things. Maybe I'm behind. TVA, where's Loki? I didn't say I want him to appear. Loki sort of made every timeline sacred. I don't know if you get me. He sort of held them all together, meaning they're all useful now. They're not back then. They had to prune them. If you watch the Loki series, you know what I'm talking about. They had to prune them so that they keep the sacred timeline of a you know a specific thing. Now, if that is the case, uh, what is this woman's name? Hold on a second, hold on a second, look for her name. Look for this woman's name, if this thing will allow me. Uh, what's, the, what's the lady in the TVA? What's the lady's name? Uh, what's the lady's name? What's the lady's name? I forgot who her name is. Uh, what's her name? Whatever. Let's not focus on her name. You know, let me just describe her so y'all remember. She's a lady who plays, who played the uh, the captain or chief ten person in the Loki series. The black girl with the huge afro. What's her damn name in the show? What's her acting name? I don't know. Anyway, she shows up there. She has some sort of authority. Now, bear in mind, if this is a past thing before the Loki series, she shouldn't have authority. She has authority, which makes me feel or makes me think if she has authority, that means season two of Loki happened. And if season two of Loki happened, 
like they shouldn't be pruning people because they're variants, shouldn't they? Because Loki's holding all the timelines, and if he's holding all the timelines, that would definitely mean... Okay, one more spoiler, one more spoiler. I almost forgot. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Gambit is in the film. And he's Channing Tatum. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, that's enough. That's enough of the crazy spoilers. That's enough. I think these are things that you would, it'd be nice if you saw them on your own, but I'm being a prick on purpose. Now, the main villain of this thing is Cassandra Nova, who supposedly is uh, Charles Xavier's uh, twin sister, who apparently the TVA was so afraid of what she would do in the future, they took her into the void as a child. And she grew up in the void, and she loves the void, and she wants to keep the void sacred, basically. Yep. And I don't know how Blake Lively is in the film. I don't know. Maybe she's the female Deadpool. Cause I don't really know. Because they never actually showed her face. But the whole time I was like, please take off the mask and be his wife. That would be so fucking odd. And then they did say she just had a baby and she looks great. So I'm assuming it's her. But I could be wrong. Right. Wow. Go watch the movie, man. The movie is worth your time. I, I have a problem with the ending, I feel like a few things are missing. Maybe I don't read enough. I don't read comic books. Let me, let me not lie. So, I don't know about that. But, a lot of great stuff. You saw the trailer. There's Dark Pool. You've seen them. There's even a Ryan Reynolds who's a dead... Okay, never mind. Never mind. If I say too many things, they end up not having a point of you watching this at all. But I will say, this... Is really, 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 really great. The action fighting. Oh my god. Like I said, so much death in this thing. So much death. I'm trying as hard as possible not to spoil it so when you go out and watch it, you're not pissed as you're supposed to be pissed. I'm not gonna talk about the post credit. Is it post? That's what it's called, right? Post credit scene, the thing at the end. No, is that it? Yeah. The end, yeah. I'm not going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about the fact that it starts in always Deadpool fashion where he starts killing people senselessly. So, I think I should spoil this. Like, the first fucking minute, Deadpool is killing people with the skeleton. The adamantium skeleton of Logan. You know, Logan in the old, old man Logan film died. Deadpool basically tries to dig him up. He tries to dig up Logan because in his mind he thinks he's alive because he can't die. And then finds out, oh my god, this guy's actually dead. And his skeleton is made of an an antium, whatever the metal they made him with. And he starts using it to beat the shit out of the TVA guys. Not beat the shit, murder the shit out of the people, the TVA. Yuck, that was nasty as fuck. So... I'd say don't bring your, don't take your children to watch it, but you'd be a horrible parent if you did not take your children to watch this, because this shit is amazing. It's really amazing. Vanessa makes an appearance. She somehow and Wade broke up, and he's trying to be a better person. Happy. Okay, another spoiler. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Happy from the Avengers. You know, Happy the guy who gave Spider-Man all the toys. Happy the guy who used to be Tony Shark's chauffeur. Happy the guy who works at uh, uh, Avengers Tower is in the film. Okay, I'm not going to say what he does. He's in the film. Just know that. What else? What else can I ruin for you people? <laughs> just for the fun of it. Just ruin it and not give you details why I'm ruining it. Like, this is all. Okay, this is amazing. Like, this is really good. This film is great. But a part of me feels like it's missing a few elements. Like, if you see the way uh, Chris Evans' character is murdered, you're like, God damn, this is gruesome. And you see the how Cassandra Nova is capable of doing shit. Wow. And then the way she bloody dies is a bit sad. Not sad because I feel bad, sad because it's lame. I feel like it's almost as if after all the senseless killing, murders, and, and, and okay, Deadpool's, I mean like, Logan and, and, and our Deadpool had 
There are a lot of Deadpool, so I don't know. I'm saying our Deadpool, the one that we know. They were fighting a lot of Deadpools. No, they stabbed him. I don't know if there's... And after they stabbed him and killed him all, and they came back because they, 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 they have regenerative powers and shit like that, the fight stopped. The fight fucking stopped. Instantly. I'm like, why? All because they know Peter. Peter shows up and everybody's like, ah, Peter's here. Forget about fighting. Let's let's hug each other. Weird. But I will say that uh, Negasonic is in the film, which is great. Um, who else is in the Sabretooth. Okay, I couldn't be. Not the original Sabretooth that you know. I don't know why they couldn't get that guy. It would have been nice. Several Wolverines were in the film. There's even a Midget one. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, Blind Al is back, so I don't know if that's an important thing. I guess the. But I will say the scenes where a lot of villains or a lot of people are fighting, it's better than Civil War, where it was like four, it was nine or it was six or six versus six, and then they called it a Civil War. It was, it was just couple of guys dressed as clowns beating each other in a parking lot that was really what it was but this was like a lot of people a lot of mutants a lot of killings yes so it was good it was good i know i said i was gonna be live for like 10 minutes and shit like that but i'm still trying to remember things back i didn't write shit down so I'm trying to remember things back and trying to think of things that I saw, which is taking me longer than it should be taking me to give you the details. But I will say, I don't know if they CGI'd Wolverine or Hugh Jackman's abs, but he looked jacked as fuck, bro. It's really in his name. He really looked jacked as fuck. And yes, Ryan Reynolds is Marvel Jesus. Yep. Man, I... Feel like there's oh there's even a scene where chris hemsworth makes okay i shouldn't fine i'll say it because i mentioned it there's a scene where chris hemsworth is crying while holding deadpool i'm not gonna tell you why he's crying but it, it's in there it's in there i saw a lot of dead people i saw a lot of deadpools no, I mean, not like Deadpool, Deadpool. I mean, I saw a lot of dead pools. There were so many dead pools in this film. I probably should have counted them. There was a samurai dead pool. There was a, a midget dead pool. There was a baby dead pool. There was a, a, a flying skull dead pool. There was a dead pool wearing a costume who's human, which means he's just a regular ass Ryan Reynolds dead pool. There was a what? What was that? Uh, there's a Wrexham Deadpool. Yeah, there was a Wrexham Deadpool. We had a whole a uh, whale's flag, uh, uh, dragons of Wrexham. There was a Wrexham Deadpool. There's um, I don't know what they call the twin dragons or the dragons that Wrexham does or whatever. You no, know, those dragons, whatever. You get me. They're in the film as well. Not the dragon, the Khalees. Oh, there's a version. There's a. There's a. References of the Game of Thrones in the film as well. I'm spoiling that too much. Oh, what else? What else? But at least the way I'm spoiling it, I'm not spoiling it in in such a way that you'd be like, oh, it is busted. I'm not giving it to you frame by frame. I'm just telling you a bunch of shit that I saw because I'm trying to remember back. And I'm like, damn, that was amazing. Because I know this. As soon as I end the stream, I'm be like, I sh probably should have said that. I know this. It's definitely going to happen. Yep, I'm definitely going to do that. Okay, what else? What else? What else? What else? Remember to hit that comment section and, you know, if you watch the film, uh, tell me what you think about the film. When is there going to be another film and all that? Like I said, I'm not going to talk about the post credit scene because I'm going to leave that for your eyes because I don't want to spoil literally everything because I feel like if I tell you everything, like I already did, Wesley Snaps in the movie. Because I'm sorry, this is the movie. 
Would have been nice if Loki showed up though. It would have been really nice. Anyway, um Yeah, I'm gonna leave you here, man. I'm gonna leave you here without you know spoiling too much of this shit. Anyway, it's been a great blast uh hanging out with y'all, talking about this amazing film, um uh <clears throat> Deadpool and the Wolf Arena. Like I said, there's a lot of killings. There's a lot of death. Oh, one more thing. I think you already saw this from the trailers where he was wearing a toupee, working in a car, this cars, what did they call this? Uh, car As a car salesman. The reason he's working as a car salesman is because, spoiling it, he tried to audition to become a, an Avenger, and they turned him down, and he got into a dis depressive state and Vanessa left him because he felt like he wasn't the shit and then I'm supposed to talk more about the villain but goddamn that Cassandra Nova's power she has this ability of putting her hands through your skull fam and 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 tapping into your memories and shit and I don't know what her power is because I don't read comic books but she was just flicking shit like people like they were boogers she literally, okay, I can't tell, I can't say that. I think some things you need, she, she did something amazing with someone's skin. Let's put it at that. Because if I say what she did, you will. Because I want to see your, I can't see your face, but your face, when you see it happen, you'll be like, oh. damn, this shit, this is, you be like, goddamn, this is finna, this is finna be crazy. Because I want you to see that reaction that I got. I was like, and the first few fucking seconds of the film are amazing. Wade's digging a grave and he starts killing. I already said that. He starts killing people with bones. Anamentium bones. Or is it titanium bones? What the hell metal is Wolverine made of? Whatever. I think it's anamentium. Whatever. It's not vibranium. <laughs> that would be it. It'd make me sound like an idiot. I really thought Captain America was in this. Oh, clips of him are in this, but he's not in this. But Chris Hemsworth is in it. As the Human Torch, by the way. Ah, <laughs> uh, you said you haven't seen Deadpool. You haven't seen Deadpool. You haven't seen Deadpool and the Wolverine. You haven't seen Deadpool and the Wolverine. I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you. <sighs> okay. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what more. What can I say? What can I say? Okay, there's one thing I've said. I I, I have to say, as always, D Ryan Reynolds take digs at other people. He takes digs at Disney. Takes digs at Fox. He even jokingly said Disney is gonna make Wolverine or Hugh Jackman work until he's 19, <laughs> which would be fucking hilarious. I mean, like I think the only thing that's left for him right now is to make a couple of appearances in a lot of films. I feel like Iron Man should have been in this film, man. Just an appearance, not 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 a clip from old movies. Like in a Thor. Oh my God, I almost forgot. I'm spoiling it again. Well, it doesn't actually. He's in there for like a brief second, and you actually see his back. But the Hulk, Bruce Banner, is in the film. And when he's making an appearance, guess who's he's fighting? He's fighting Wolverine. Okay, I need to stop. I need to stop. I need to stop. I can't believe I almost forgot about that. I can't believe I almost forgot about that. That was amazing. Oh, there's even... Final, 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 final spoil. There's even a Wolverine who's been exified. Yes, I didn't say crucified because he's not on a cross. He's on an X, but he's hung up lucky Jesus. 
So I'm calling it exified because it's not a cross, so it's not crucified. So I'm saying he was exified. If 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 it's not a thing, I'm claiming it, trademarked it. Ding! That's not how trademarks work, but you get what I mean. I said it first. If no one has said it, I said it first. He was exified, and they pulled in saving me like I don't know why you up there, but I gotta get out of here. Anyway. Adiosa. You haven't seen Deadpool. You haven't seen Deadpool. You haven't seen Deadpool and the Wolverine. Yep, your weekend's gonna suck. If you're watching this live. If you're not watching this live and you haven't seen Deadpool, go watch it. Bye. Da 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 Now that was entertaining. Please let us hang out yet another time. Remember to like and subscribe. Adios folks. Adios.